So in today's edition of Writing Notes, uh, I want to take you through a couple of good strategies you can use to write the introduction to a paper. Now introductions are really tricky. Um, a lot of writers, especially, uh, especially student writers, emerging writers, things like this, tend to struggle with introductions. So here's a couple of things that you can do, and I, I'm, I've got here actually the introduction to a paper that I wrote that uses a number of really good strategies. So I'm going to take you through this sort of uh, basically line by line, and we'll see what's going on. So this is the title of the paper, and then we've got this opening sentence here. Okay, all right. So what is this opening sentence doing? This question that has plagued generations of critics studying Macbeth is why the title character does the things he does. So what is this working as? This is an attention grabber. And what this does, uh, what this particular attention grabber starts to do is to establish the stakes. So uh, what we've got here is uh, a, a kind of critical background, almost. People have been having this debate for a long time. There isn't a set answer, and this, is, and this paper is going to weigh in on that. These next couple of sentences here, I'm not going to leave a comment on. These sort of expand on that. So this gives us the two basic positions that people tend to take, which is either that Macbeth is just a terrible, evil person, or that uh, he's controlled by fate. This next sentence explains some of the limitations of the debate. So we've got these two positions that have been set up through the first three sentences, and now what we're getting is the reason why these are insufficient. Um, this next sentence is a sort of transition from the opening bit where we set up what we're going, what the paper is going to look at, to what I'm starting to do. Uh, so this fairly long sentence here, this is actually my thesis. So this is actually the argument that I'm making, and you may want to take a look at my video on thesis statements to get some more information about what a good thesis should do. But this is basically where I propose a third way of reading Macbeth that's not uh, limited to either he's totally evil or that he's a pawn of fate. Instead, I take, a, uh, I take the argument developed by a guy named René Girard, who's a French theorist, uh, not that important at the moment, and I apply that to this play. And then this last sentence here, uh, here we go. What this does is, a, uh, this is a technique called the roadmap. So what this does is it gives the reader a sense of where the paper is actually going. So what is it that this paper is actually going to try and do? So we've got the thesis, which is the main argument that the paper is going to try and make, and then the roadmap gives us a preview of where we're going to go, uh, of what steps the paper is going to go through to try and prove the argument that the thesis is making. So this is a pretty good way of writing a really solid introduction. There are other techniques you can use, but the key components that you want are that attention grabber, that uh, introductory background context, a thesis, and then some kind of uh, roadmap, preview, or establishing the stakes of the argument. Thanks for watching.